The carnival atmosphere has already started here in Sao Paulo as Brazil welcomes the Formula One Grand Prix. The Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache has been a staple of the racing calendar for decades and soon will once again be watching the best drivers in the world the give it their all. The Sao Paulo, Paulo track is beautifully designed to present an enticing Grand challenge for teams and drivers Jose alike. Between medium speed S corners, hill climbs and the high speed and section and after Jun Sao, this circuit calls for cars to have a balanced setup to succeed here. here. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. Okay then, let's get to it. For more Formula One action, as we prepare for qualifying. There are no more chances to practice this weekend. 21. It gets serious the from now on in as our teams prepare season. to record their best lap times ahead of tomorrow's race. Here One good lap Brazil. isn't enough is to guarantee a strong position with consistency absolutely essential for those looking to succeed. So get yourselves comfortable. Max it's going to be quite the ride. Going into this Grand Prix weekend has a 42 point lead. And then the constructors, Red Bull, have a 37 point lead. In the constructors. So, let's crack on then with qualifying. All and important radio check qualifying. Where is the check? Okay. So we lose five in qualifying here in Q1. So going into this first weekend, as we said, Max Verstappen has a 42 point lead. Going into this weekend. Leclerc can close the gap and take it to the final race of the season with victory here or the staff and not finishing the race. hoping for big points here twenty five points for a race win and if he gets the fastest lap as well I'll give him twenty six points. Twenty one of twenty two. So for staff and can be crowned champion here today. If he wins the Grand Prix. 
So if the stuff in these, he's chum. season. So for Leclerc this is probably the most important qualifying session of the season. So far he is quickest. Charles Pitlane. With a 109.2. Copy. Point two. Limiter on. So we will be watching Max Verstappen go out on his qualifying run. Okay, Billy, mate, no worries. Thanks for popping by. So this is the most important qualifying for Charles Leclerc. He has to win today. If Max Verstappen wins, he is champion. Currently, as it stands in the Drivers' Championship, Verstappen has a 42 point gap on Leclerc. Let's just look at the championship. So there's the points. Verstappen 389, Leclerc on 347. 42 point gap for Max Verstappen. If he wins today, he is champion. If Leclerc wins today, it will go to the final race of the season. And in the constructors. Hi Paul P mate, welcome in. Morning and how are you doing? So in the constructors, Red Bull was 654 going into the into this weekend. Ferrari 617. That's a 37 point gap. So again, <laughs> if Red Bull get one a one-two finish, Verstappen will be world champion. 
Drivers World Champion and Red Bull will win the Constructors. If Ferrari get a 1-2 finish, it will go to the final race of the season. Pretty much simple as that, really. Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Well, for a Monday. I hate Mondays. So we are currently watching what the staffing does. Oh, they are, mate. They're, they're absolutely horrible. It's like you wake up and you go, yeah, oh, it's Monday. Oh. So, for everyone that's just joined, this is round 21 of 22, the penultimate race of the season, one more race to go after this, but both drivers and constructors titles can be decided today. Max Verstappen currently has a 42 point gap over Charles Leclerc. Which means Verstappen wins today or wins the race and will be champion. Structures can be wrapped up as well. If Red Bull finish with a one two. So for Staffan, not that quick at the net. So just waiting on Magnussen, Sonoda and Stroll. We lose five. So at the minute after the first run, Hamilton is the fastest at, the, at this moment in time. With a 109.1. So, we're just waiting on Magnussen, Snowden and Stroll. 
and then we will be heading out for the second run of Q1. So, there we go. So, as it stands, Schumacher, Vettel, Stroll, Albon and Latifi would be out. Just under three minutes left of Q1. Green, sec green in the first sector. stays quickest at the moment.
So that is the checkered flag. We will now go and see what the staff can do. Staffing goes quickest in Q1. 108.8. Pair down in third. So that's Q1 done. So we lose Schumacher, Vettel, Stroll, Albon and Latifi. So into Q2. Radio check, Carlos. Yeah, all good. Very nice. So we'll lose another five and then we will have the top ten shootout. So for Staffan is the fastest in Q1. in the second sector. his Red Bull up on in third. And this is Q2.
box. Copy understood. And we need speed limiter on, speed limiter on. Was that a lock-up on the track? Let's take a closer look. Daniel Ricciardo involved here. And yes, that's the lock-up. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. So for staff, it hasn't gone out yet. <laughs> As we're looking at the clear and for staff as well. In what could be a title deciding race. But this is Q2. So far, the clear is the fastest so far. As we're just waiting for Verstappen to go out. Showing something a bit different, sending science out. So Leclerc, he sits in the garage, waiting patiently, his teammate Sainz sees how on his flying lap now.
So Sykes doesn't improve on his time. Leclerc. This is his outlap. Hamilton moves up into third, Sainz drops to fourth. So can the clear push? Find time somewhere. That's the clear. So the clear not improving his time. So as it stands, Jaguan Yu, Magnussen, Ocon, Sonoda and Ricardo will be out. As it stands. Copy understood. And speed limiter on.
That's a checkered flag for Staffing. Hey, Great Y, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. Good morning, or afternoon as it is here. Much appreciated, mate. You you being here, mate. So this is the end of Q2. As we will be preparing for Leclerc's most important Q3 of the season. So the permutations of this penultimate race of the season. So we've lost Norris, Magnussen, Ricardo, Ocon and Sonoda. And radio tech channels. Radio check, okay. So, for Charles Leclerc, this is probably the biggest 12 minutes of the season. As the race comes up after. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the permutations of this race weekend. Max Verstappen currently has a 42 point lead over the clear. Verstappen will be Drivers World Champion if he wins the race. If the clear wins the race, it will go to the final race of the season. And in the constructors, the battle between Red Bull and Ferrari is a 37 point gap if Red Bull have a 1-2 finish they will win the Constructors Championship if Ferrari win a 1-2 finish again it will go to the last race so pretty simple Claire has to win this race or well, another way for Staffan won't be crowned champion today is if he finishes outside the points So far this season, that has not happened. So the clear fastest in the first sector, fastest in the second sector. So a 109.1 on their first run.
So Leclerc will be hoping to get pole position. For the race. Seven minutes left of Q3. Charles speed lane. Understood. Speed limiter on and speed limiter on. Let's have a look. Now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. Look at that. They've spun their car. Oh, Hamilton. Going for a little spin there. So let's go and have a look at Verstappen. Yeah, I felt uh, this morning I felt a little bit crap when I got up this morning, but a couple of coffees later and uh, a couple of fags later and I feel good to go. So five minutes left. That's why I'm watching Max Verstappen. See what time he posts. put him on pole position. I think we find out um, who it is. It's um, Ken's house party's missus. Just a few minutes left of this. 
final. Qualifying. Leclerc not picking up any time. In that first sector, he's losing time. So both the Ferrari drivers not improving on their times. That's it for them. So all they can hope for now is that they don't drop further down the grid. corner now is going to be all important from the race There's just seconds remaining. And then we can crack on with the race. So that is the checkered flag, that is the end of qualifying. Verstappen takes pole position. So that's it. <laughs>
all the cars and finish. Remember Hamilton does have that grid penalty and so does Alonso. So that will move Perez up into fifth. But the front row, the two battling it out for the Drivers' Championship for Staff and Paul Leclerc second. Here we are, folks. We're back for another day of scintillating F1 action. A big race this. It's race day. For we saw a reasonably good qualifying performance from Ferrari, and they certainly have a good chance to capitalize during the race. The work Red Bull did during qualifying was nothing short of spectacular. Now let's see if they can repeat that for today's race. And the race will be taking place under <coughs> blue skies. That means the team should be able to apply their strategies without today. any ah, added complications. And when it comes down to it, there's simply no telling what will happen here in the ups and downs of Sao Paulo. So, to the race we go. We have beautiful blue skies overhead as the drivers line up on the grid. The first and corner there is going to be is so, so important. They're in second place on the grid, but that could so easily change in the first few seconds of the race. And further back, there's Sainz. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. And we're just moments away now. And now, it's time for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And it's lights so it's out, out, and away, and we, away go. we go. And it's the ultimate race of the season. Oh, just for a second. The stuff in that lead. Seventy-one that race. Forty-two point gap. At the top of the drivers' championship. So if the staff wins this race, he will be drivers' champion. leading the race. As we head into lap two. A bit of a small track this is uh, in Tanagos. Starts for Stafford. He leads the third second. Russell third. That would be top three for finish now. Bottas so far has the fastest lap in the race.
looks like there's been a lockup. Here's the replay. Right, watch this. Just there's locked Schumacher. Up, look. They've locked up, but oh, that could no have been much worse. Us. DRS enable. Now the DRS is enabled now, can the clear use that to take the lead of this race? And the clay on the outside. Side by side. And the clay takes the lead. We can take a look now. Now let's look at this. The focus on Sonoda. Oh, and there's the lockup. That's the last thing they'll have wanted. And the team had such high hopes today. What a shame. At the moment, we are the fastest car on track. So we're playing with the fastest no, car in the race. No, no. Continue, keep going. Get a bit of a gap between him and. Melissa. Red Bull moved up. And Claire retakes the lead. Can we now push on? You are doing a good job. And get the staff in out of that DRS. Ferrari, advance the race position. Bit in the gap. So for the DRS to work, you have to be within one second of the car ahead of you. And the clear. Has to keep the Staffan out of that. and push on.
just a reminder on your eyes. Copy. Looks great, right? Looks lovely, mate. So, lap seven of 71. The clear leads. We'll stop in second. Russell third. Staff is right up the clear's arse. He was running outside. And the clear couldn't defend so that. So at the moment you have the staff P2. Really takes the at lead. the moment P2. Red Bull gained the place. The clear's coming straight at him. Sides all fighting for the lead. Alright guys, I'll be right back. I'm just going to make myself a nice cup of coffee.
Danny, you've done a good job. Well done. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. So the clear leads on lap 12, Verstappen 2nd, Russell 3rd, Sites 4th, Bottas 5th, Perez 6th, Magnussen in the house, up into 7th, Sonoda, that was Sonoda, Joe in 8th, Gasly Knight and Ocon in the last points. four-way battle for the lead. Ferrari already know what they do. If Sainz gets in second, he will be then told to hold everyone back and let the clear go. At the minute he's down in fourth. Staffan who takes the lead. The pit strategies are going to be really important as well in this race. So far, the clear is given for Staffan a run for his money. He's not giving up. On being on the chance of being a world champion. Five laps and for science and four laps.
your heart is busy because it's a Monday. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I've ever met one person that says that they like Mondays. It's like the worst day of the week. Mondays is. I mean, I, I was alright. So obviously, when I was uh, when I was working before my my hours got cut. I was working uh, Monday night shifts there. Non stop. Is so he going to have a really busy day then? You'll be knackered, mate, by the time you go. You are doing a good job. Keep doing the same procedure. Look at that! They've run wide. On the clip, made a mistake. Let's take a look at the replay. Now, just watch the Mercedes. The clip. They're way off the Run off the like track. That. that isn't good. Oh, big lock up there. Let's see what happened there. Watch this. There's Leclerc. Leclerc was that pushing for stuff. Cost them dearly. He locked up. And he's gone off the That's track. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able now to he's recover? To four. We'll see. That is not what the clear wanted. Has the clear <coughs> just gone and thrown his chances away? Still plenty of laps. Now he's got Perez starting to close the gap on him now. So it's for Staffan Leeds, Russell second, Sykes in third. After the clear. Locked up and went off the track. They're all in the pits. Leclerc Stroll has just gone into the pits. And Leclerc is now five seconds behind his teammates. So these pit stops are going to be crucial now. As we will go with third place Sykes. He will be pitted. So, as it stands right now, science goes into the pit. Is that a lock up? Let's have and a look. Perez has so turned out to this. lock up. There's Sergio Perez. Oh, they've lost it. They've locked up. 
exactly the same place as Leclerc did when he tried to overtake Verstappen for the lead. And Leclerc, he's now coming in. And box now, box, it confirm. <laughs> Russell takes the lead. So Sykes, he's now gone on a set of hearts. So we should get about 50 odd laps out of that. Take a closer look. A now let's have a look. Further down the field, it's Lance Stroll. Stroll. And this, yes, there, that's the lockup. He Box. just goes off there, so to clear into the pits. Okay, copy. And pit limiter on. Ricardo into the pits. Leclerc comes out in 10th place, Sainz ahead of him. And the race lead up has just gone into the pits now. Verstappen is in the pits. Where will he come out? Verstappen comes out ahead of Leclerc. up on the track we can take a look now locks up again. so this was the Aston Martin well they've locked up they won't have been happy about that so you, you keep that uh, you keep Joe Guan Yu leads the Brazilian Grand Prix Position. 
The science is just overtaken for staff. Let's have another look. Science is the focus here. And there they go, moving up a position. Just incredible maneuvering. Back in the garage, the team absolutely loved it. So as things stand, remember that 42 point gap. And Pettit just beat it now. Ah, sorry guys. So as things stand, Max Verstappen will be world champion as things stand because the gap was 42 points and as things stand it will go to 51 points with one race to go <laughs> and now Verstappen that leads. So Verstappen now leads the race. So as things stands, Max Verstappen. Will be champion. The constructors. Oh, that was just there. So the constructors. So that was a 37 point gap for the constructors. As that stands. That will not be decided today. That will be decided in the last race of the season. As things stand. But we've had one round of pit stops. And... Uh, yeah. The staff and leads, Sainz second, and Russell third. So at this moment in time, if Sainz could take the lead of this race and then try and bunch them all back up, but Leclerc he's doing his best to try and catch the three ahead of him. So like minute, been a all 20 cars Let's see are what still happened running. There. Now so look not at this. like Daniel it was in the last yes, race up, but that could have been much worse. in Mexico City. And that so we had red flags, blow for the team. safety cars, yellow really flags. We had it all. Leclerc started 18th in that race. And finished second. In this race, he started second and he's down in fourth after the first round of pit stops. So, as it stands, Verstappen will be the 2022 Formula One Drivers' Champion. So, at the minute, it's all down on his teammate. So coming up later on today on Selby's Retro Sports, we'll have the continuation of the English Premier League match week one. And then tomorrow we'll have the final race of the Formula One season. 
start of the English League Cup. Also later on in the week we will have the NFL 2023 season. And the NBA season back from 2002. So all that to come. Claire is chipping away. Seems to have been a lockup. Let's have a look. Now watch this. Here's the moment involving Albon. Just a bit too heavy on the brakes, and they've locked up. Albon. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning up. just what happened out there. And going off the track. He's down in 18th place. So science to be fair to him. He's doing his bit for the team. Was fighting for Stafford. Let's go and have a look at sights. And we'll do a lap on board with Carlos Sights. Much love, great right, much love. So this is an onboard shot of Carlos Sainz. Sides take the lead of this race.
Verstappen at the net, he's got the fastest lap. So it's got caught up behind the, uh, the tail end then. Thanks, uh, thanks. I know some people can get a bit bored of a uh, Formula One. But I suppose when you've got a uh, one race to go after this and a title can be decided as well. <laughs> so the staff is starting to pull a bit of a gap now. As we're in lap 31. So let's see what Leclerc's battle with Russell. We're four seconds behind Russell. He's in third. So as it stands, lap 32 of 71, Max Verstappen will be drivers champion today. The constructors championship will be decided on the last race of the season. All 20 cars are still running. What we've had this season has already shown anything can happen. Staffan's lead at the front now is 2.3 seconds. time Leclerc will be doing his final stop while well, Sainz has 14 laps before he does his final stop so for stopping leads Sainz in second Russell in third So as it stands, Verstappen will be the world champion. 415 points. 25 points for winning the race, plus the bonus points as well for the fastest lap. Leclerc will be in second with just 12 points at the minute. And into the constructors. That will definitely go down to the final race of the season. A 37 point gap before the race. And then that will stay the same. As both teams will pick up 30 points as it stands. So, <laughs> Verstappen will be champion. Drivers champion as it stands. And the constructors will go to the final race. So Hamilton has now got the fastest lap. In top 10, which is the point finishes. Oh, 
Oh, thanks for the follow, uh, Night Night. Thank you. So, for staff and needs, he will be world champion. As it stands at the minute, Science in second, Russell in third, Leclerc in fourth, Bottas fifth, Joe Guan Yu in sixth, Gasly seventh, Perez in eighth, Norris ninth, and Hamilton will take the final point. And he also has the fastest lap as well. So lap 35 of 71. We change after the first round of pit stops. So Verstappen will be coming in, Leclerc will be coming in as well, so will Bottas, Joe and Perez and Albon. The rest are all on hards. DRS is disabled. DRS disabled. Now this is going to be interesting. I think that was a crash. So we have a safety car. Magnussen crashed. Staffan is in the pits. Charles Pitlay. Copy.
So we have a safety car. That is going to bunch everybody up now. That's going to make it interesting now. After Magnussen crashed, he's out. Saxon Russell He's not pitted. A stroll on the tee feet. Sights and whistle, he did not pit. Safety car is in. End of this lap. The sounds all the more up and we're going. We're off. We're back racing. And science has got a great getaway. After Magnuson's crash, we're back racing. Sykes leads, Russell second, Verstappen third. They've gone wide! Let's take a look at the replay. Watch this, we're looking at Lando Norris. Goodness me, they're completely off the racing line. 
Numerous went off the track and came back on again. Gained for Mercedes. Oh, and Ferrari just gained the place. Let's he take a closer look. Into fifth. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Down on the inside of Joe. Me, there they go, moving ahead of the other driver. That was a big moment. The team are clearly delighted. on the track we can take a so look now right, crash. Watch this. there's Schumacher you can clearly oh, see the contact there crash. and that caused a lot of damage sounds like we've had a spin here's the replay Daniel Ricciardo involved here no need for a safety car though Is enabled, okay. Should not come back to <laughs> hit each other, but there's no need for a safety car. Keep going. So we've got nineteen cars running. Uh, Magnussen's crash. It was a strong race. And Stafford moves up into second. Ferrari, advance the race position. And then Sainz fighting back. Bottas and Perez, they both come into the pits. Sainz is third and Verstappen leads the race. So, yet again, Max Verstappen will be champion. So after that crash, so it's been told don't fight his teammate. Joe, he goes into the pits. Sights and Russell yet to pit. After that huge crash, 
we saw was Magnussen go out, we had the safety car. But Verstappen is not going to be taking the lead of this race. Russell didn't pit. But Leclerc, who's now up into third, did pit. Sykes is going into fifth place now. Alpha Tower regained a place. Let's see what happened there. Now look at this, it's Pierre Gasly. And they get past, which moves them up a position. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. Pretty quickly, he could then try and close down on for Stafford. At the moment, we are and the clear gets past track. Russell into second and the fastest lap. Just gained a place. This is going straight back at the clear. Take a look at the replay. Now just take a look at the McLaren. And they've gone wide. Way wide. Sites, he goes Copy into it. the pits.
Leclerc with the new fastest lap is hunting down for Stafford. Carlos, nice job. Lando Pit. Let's take a closer look. Let's have another look. Science is the focus here. And there they go, moving up a position in the pack. The driver's team there cheering them on. Let's know that Peter. Control and spun. Let's have a look. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. They spun the car. What a disaster! Gasly just beat it now. So lap fifty of seventy one. Staffing is pulling out a bit of a lead now on Leclerc. And two feet down in 19th place and last. He's in the pitch for Russell. Is going in the pits. That's as it stands for Staffan, will be champion today, and the constructors is going to. Go to the last race. Red Bull gained a place. Perez overtakes. Here's the replay. So let's look at this. There's Sergio Perez. Gaining a position there. They make it look so easy. And the team had such high hopes today. What a shame.
Titans moves up into fifth. Ferrari, advance the race position. We can take a look now. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Goodness me, there they go, moving ahead of the other driver. The team watching on and clearly loving that. Box now, box. Copy box. Really good lap time. Let's take a look at the replay. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. That lockup could have cost them dearly. So the one's a bit wide there after they locked up. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. Charles pit lane. Copy. And we need speed limiter on, speed limiter on. Good job. So the clear comes out in second. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. Let's see what happened there. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Bold move indeed, and with that, they've gained a position. And that was a bitter blow for the team, and it may have really hurt their overall chances.
Go in the clear. Catch. Sight. That catch. The stuff. So the clear slowly starting to chip away at the stuff in the sleeve. Lap 56 of 71 as we're coming towards the conclusion of this race. As it stands, the stuff will be drivers world champion. Structures will be decided in the last race. So chipping away at that lead. literally a straight fight to the end of the race. Someone spun out. Let's take a closer look. Bottas takes now we spin. see Valtteri Bottas. That looked like a very nasty spin. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. So it was twenty four seconds was the lead it's now 23 that was a really strong lap the last one try to keep it there oh and ferrari just gained a place let's have a look and okay here's the ferrari third. They take advantage and muscle their way through. Excellent work. I think it's safe to say that went down well with the team. So that 58, can Leclerc catch Verstappen?
guys. Mercedes moved up a place. Here's the replay. Now let's Russell. look at this. Here's George Russell. Yeah. And they get past. Which moves them up a position? The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. Good job there. Science moves back up into the head now. Ferrari, advance the race position. We can take a look now. Let's have another look. Science is the focus here. And there they go, moving up a position. Just incredible maneuvering. Back in the garage, the team absolutely loved it. a race position gained for Mercedes. Let's see what happened there. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. And Russell back up into third. Moving up a place there. Excellent work from them. And the team had such high hopes today. What a shame. Keep it up. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Let's take a look at the replay. Okay, here's the Ferrari. And it's now back up into the field. Gaining a position there. Oh, they make it look so easy. That was a big moment. The team are clearly delighted. Someone's run wide. Let's take a closer look. Now, just take a look at the McLaren. They've taken that far too wide, and now they're paying the price. Ten laps left. The race position gained from Mercedes. Let's have a look. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. Goodness me, there they go, moving ahead of the other driver. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see.
They're doing a very good job, Carlos. This is the battle for Ferrari. Advance the race Leclerc position. Tries to pull in for Stafford. Hello too, how you doing mate? Welcome in. So eight laps left. This is the battle for third. Oh, okay then, mate. Okay. Mercedes moved up a place. Race is long. I don't know. Anyway. Sainz down in fifth. Leclerc trying to catch for Stafford. So as it stands, the Stafford will be Drivers World Champion today. The Constructors will be decided on the last race. So for Stafford, he had a 42 gap at the start of the race. That gap is now. Forty nine point gap. So for Stafford will be champion today in the constructors. That was a thirty seven point gap for the constructors. And as it stands. now gone to a 41 point gap as it stands and seven laps to go so it can't be decided just yet Sites 
Max can move up a position. Then that points gap will change. So Verstappen leads in a clear second, Hamilton third. And then for the rest of the points, Russell fourth, Sykes fifth, Perez sixth, Joe seventh, Alonso eighth, Gasly ninth, and Bottas with the final points. Sounds feel we could capitalise here with the two Mercedes fighting each other. Sounds on the outside, on the inside. Moves up into four. Good job, Carlos. Well done. Old school pass. Hamilton oh, straight Ferrari back at him. And Sykes keeps that position. He knows what he's got to do with regards to the constructors. But can Sykes, with four laps left, get on that podium? It will be huge and five laps to go. for the constructors. As for the Drivers' Championship, well, McLeod pushed him, pushed for Stafford. But as it stands, unless for Stafford does not finish the race now, he will be the Drivers World Champion. And McLeod fights with Russell and moves up into third. Can he stay there? <laughs> Ferrari, advance the race position. As long as you sent it, as long as you entertain, mate, that's uh, all I'm worried about. the replay now let's look we're watching Nicholas Latifi well they've locked up they won't have been happy about that it's 
a race position gained for Mercedes. Leclerc down and down. His race has just gone from bad to worse. like a spin let's take a look at the replay now let's look we're watching Nicholas Latifi and this yes this is where they spun out and that was a bitter blow for the team and it may have really hurt their overall chances Two more laps. Staffen begins the last lap of the race. This is the battle for second between Russell Sykes, Hamilton and Perez. Leclerc all the way down in 10th place. This is the last lap. Yes, At the moment, we are the fastest. Okay, just got the fastest lap. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. You are doing a good job. Continue like this. Ferrari just gained a place. Well, clear up in tonight. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. We can take a look now. And Verstappen finishes first. And Max Verstappen wins performance like that. The Brazilian Grand Prix. And with it the Drivers' Championship as well. Missile second, Hamilton third, Sight fourth, Perez fifth. Leclerc comes at home in ninth, Bottas in tenth. And check it flag. Yes, guys. Let's go. You've done a good job. So 19 cars finished. Magnussen, the only one who is out. Sight showed us some solid racing here today. Ferrari must have some mixed feelings after this. They didn't do too badly, but they can definitely do better. Yes, I imagine they'll roll up their sleeves now and make sure their next performance goes even better.
At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. Formula One has almost reached its conclusion this year. Meet us next time in Abu Dhabi, between the desert and the sea, for an enthralling finale. So, <clears throat> that's how it finished. For Stefan wins, he picks up maximum points, 25 points. Russell second, and Hamilton pipped Sainz for third. So into the drivers championship then and Max Verstappen will be the champion. 414 to 300 to Leclerc's 350 as he only picked up three points in that race. Sainz third 282 as he picked up 12 points. Perez fourth 275 he picked up 10 points Hamilton down in fifth 195 points he picked up 15 points so did Hamilton today his teammate George Russell 177 as he picked up 18 points Bottas just on one point he picked up today gives him 133 and then a huge gap to Fernando Alonso who picked up eight points today with his finish He's on 88. 18 point gap to Asteban Ocon. No points to, for him today. He's on 70. Pierre Gasly for AlphaTauri. Picked up 4 points today. Moves him on to 57. 17 points clear of Joe Guan Yu. Who picked up 6 points today himself. He's on 40 points. Kevin Magnussen. No points for him today. So he's the only one that, uh, that did not finish. He's on 27, a point ahead of Lando Norris on 26. No points for him either. No points for Daniel Ricciardo. He stays on 6. And with one race to go, Sonoda, Schumacher, Vettel and Albon and Stroll and Latifi. No points. So into the Constructors Red Bull 35 point haul for them today. They move to 689. Ferrari 15 points for them today. They move on to 632. A big haul of points for Mercedes. 33 points for them. They stay in third with 350, uh, 372. Seven points for Alfa Romeo today. They move on to 173 in that battle for fourth. With Alpine, who picked up eight points today. They move on to 158. And Alfa Tari picked up four points today. They move to 57. McLaren on 32. No points for them. And Haas on 27, no points for them. Aston Martin and Williams with one race to go. No points. <laughs>